What's up guys, Brad7 5512 here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Windows 8. So as you can see, this is the um tile new Metro UI interface that they've come up with. And my opinion is actually very good. You have it's it replaces the old Windows um start menu, because as you see when you click start you get to here. You have your Internet Explorer, there will be an app store. At the moment I'm using the developer release so that is not available at the moment but it will. You can add your stocks, your news, that's pretty good. You can just add your new uh, Twitter application. This is um, this is a good application. It saves you going to your internet browser and you can just whack open the app. And also the ability to just go straight back to the start menu by pressing your Windows key on your keyboard. That's also very good. Your weather app, that's obviously explaining its health. Socialite is your Facebook. But I am actually encountering problems with this at the moment so I won't demonstrate it. But it's probably getting a developer release. It's integrated with Internet Explorer 9, um, which obviously Windows 7 wasn't, and that's quite a good browser, but I'd still choose Google Chrome over it if I were you. Control panel, you've got the simple version control panel like this, or you can just go into the um, more common one on your desktop. Now, obviously, people are like, oh my god, you can't go back to normal desktop. You can, you just click desktop, and you've got your normal desktop right here. So, yeah, and you also get a bunch of games. Labyrinth, stuff like that, and if you everything you install now comes to the back of here, and you can move it around wherever you want. Games, notes, all sorts, and the lock screen is quite interesting as well. You've got this quite interesting. Um, well, it's quite a good picture, and it tells the time when you come in, and then yeah, it's pretty good basically. So yeah, I would. When it comes out, I would definitely recommend the operating system. At the moment, I'm currently using a developer release, as you can see here. So it's not the full thing, but I'm definitely going to be purchasing this when it on its release, as it is a um, very sleek operating system, and it works very well. I've encountered no problems with it whatsoever. And um, yeah, so you got an i9. That's a very good browser, but like I say, Google Chrome's still best for me. And I've only just got this, so I haven't got many things installed. But I will, what I'll do is I'll post, it's free, the developer release is free to anyone at the moment. I'll post a download link in the description, but be warned, when I installed it, it did over install my Windows 7 install, which means I have to use this operating system, which I'm not really complaining about, but I would have preferred it not to. But yeah, so if you are going to install this, it will overwrite your previous operating system. Alright, that's it. Great operating system. Thanks for watching. Peace.